Welcome to Vuleko DIY. If you've been watching this channel, you probably know that my table saw has been inside of my workbench. But now I no longer have a table saw which makes that space empty. Secondly, the tabletop had no support underneath it which made it bow over time as you can see. Thirdly, there were a lot of wasted space which I wanted to take advantage of. And lastly, my garage floor is not leveled and my workbench had no leveling fit that made the table unstable. These were some of the reasons that led to my new design. Design requirement I wanted the tabletop to be very flat and rigid as possible. 2. An integrated dust collection and electrical built into the workbench. 3. I wanted to be able to store my planer and air compressor inside of the workbench. 4. I wanted a vise attached to the workbench and a paper roll to protect the tabletop when using wood glue. Lastly, I wanted this workbench to have as much storage space as possible. I always run all my 2x4s through the planer because it gives the lumber a more finished look. I then cut all the 2x4s to length on the miter saw and make sure to label them so I know which is which. I then move over to my table saw and clean up the edges of the 2x4s. I marked and cut at this section. This is going to be for the vise. This will make more sense later. I made sure that the aluminum surface was flat before I start laminating the 2x4s. This setup made it easier for a repeatable lamination. I made sure to add a lot of glue and clamp them down so it doesn't move on me. Then driving some screws.
So if you notice, there's actually no visible screw from one whole side. I then flip the frame to install the vise since it will be a lot easier now than later. I then mark out the location for the leveling feet. Next, I install the quick release plate for the casters.
I then cut at the panel for the base. I don't know what I was thinking. I had my plan, took the measurement, but I cut it to the wrong size. After I figured it out, I then cut it to the right size of camera. With my T-square, I then mark at the location of the 2x4s and drive in some screws. Before cutting at the panels, I made sure to check if the space between the top and bottom were the same. In my case, everything was fine. I then mark out the locations for the electrical outlet and the blast gate for the dust collection. If you are going to be building this, it is important to use a high quality plywood for this application because this is going to be carrying over 150 pounds. In my case, I'm using a Baltic birch plywood. I sandwich two of the panels together with a double sided tape that way when I'm drilling the holes for the drawer slides I can drill on both at the same time. I'm using a binding board instead of a regular wood screw to eliminate side play. This drawer slide is rated for 410 pound load capacity so I needed something with enough holding power. Unfortunately, the locking mechanism was hitting the binding boot, so I replaced it with a countersink head machine boot.
this is the end of this episode on the workbench build. In the next episode, I will finish at the workbench, including installing all the storages, windows collection, electrical, and everything else. So far, I'm really happy how this workbench turned out. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. And for all of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.